is this place? This doesn't look like a hive throne world. her. How did you do it? How did you find the strength to destroy something so like yourself? There. To look in a mirror and kill what looks bad. Strong. That was too easy. It did seem too easy, didn't it? Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Savathun's throne world. I know we should have checked in, but we had Savathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her, and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. 
That's not like Savathun, to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's... something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights. And it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Savathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible. With Savathun, nothing is impossible. Savathun, the Witch Queen. Hive God of cunning and lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Light-bearing hive, complete with their own ghosts. I should have seen this coming, but how? We're in a new paradigm now, Guardian, where the boundaries between are becoming increasingly blurred, especially between what's right and what's wrong. If I had been in your place, to be honest, I don't know what I would have done. But there's no use dwelling on that. Let's assess what we do know. I see you picked up a clue along the way. One that might explain why Savathun decided to return alongside Mars. According to your ghost telemetry, that fragment is giving off the same vibrations as the pyramid tech relic. That just so happened to return with Mars. Go take a look. I'll explain more when you report back. Come back see. Guardians have been combing Mars since it reappeared. No way they'd have missed this. It's definitely new. Let's get a closer look.
Here I was, bemoaning the fact that we now had two mysteries to solve. And you, Wilson, making breakthroughs left and right. So, the relic rendered a full blueprint out of a single fragment. Almost as if you were shaping that weapon based on its own memory. Which parallels the distortions all over the planet. Open wounds where the past bleeds into the present. Somehow the relic can manipulate time. With the right conduit, of course. Which Savathun happened to have. But could she use the relic? And what for? The questions just keep piling up. It seems the answers are buried within Savathun's throne world. I need someone to go in and dig them up. Guardian, how do you feel about working with the Hidden? <laughs>